Hello everybody, New Manchester here, back with another video. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, um, go to the um, search box in, in YouTube and type down New Manchester channel. And after you type that down, you're going to get results. And if you if you see a um, see if you see a a a channel with a green thumbnail that says New Manchester on it, that's my channel. Just click on that and you're in my channel. You can watch my videos. You can leave a comment. You can like like the videos or you can or you can dislike them or leave a comment. I think I said comment. Okay, anyway. Alright, alright. After alright, alright, I'm after I got that out of the way, um and I know this is old. Uh, I just want to talk about um, Trump's visit to the UK. Um, I heard he said something incredibly stupid. I mean, you know, he just said a lot of stupid stuff. Um, I think he said some in the um, British Parliament in London. I'm not for sure. Um, I don't know what he said. But her, I heard he said some insulting things that, uh, you know, just angered, angered the people there. I, I really don't know. I mean, I just, I just, I just heard this. Well, I, I, well, I heard this um, while, while back when this was like first coming to surface and being on the news. Um, yeah. Also, he did some disrespectful to um, Queen Elizabeth II. Um. He I heard he walked in front of her and didn't bow to her or anything. I mean, that's kind of disrespectful right there. Um, I just want to say that to anybody, um, anybody in the UK, um, I just want to apologize to what Donald Trump did. I mean, hey, I mean, if you guys don't care about me apologizing, I mean, for Trump in my country, hey, I mean, yeah, I, I, you know. I, I don't really care. Well, well, actually, um, <laughs> actually, that that's fine. I mean, well, I, I do, I do care. I mean, that that's fine. I mean, if, if you don't care, hey, hey, that, that that's fine. If you care, that that's that's fine too. And um, yeah. Let's see what else I want to talk about. Um, uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I want to talk about um, the media news outlet in America and how bad it is, you know. I mean, you don't hear about, you, know, you don't hear about what, what goes on in other countries. I mean, well, where I live, I mean, um, I turn on, the, well, I don't watch the local news. Um, I watch the local news and um, there was nothing about, you know, what's going on in other countries or anything nothing like you you won't hear anything that's going on in in Canada the United Kingdom France and all, all the other countries around the world you, you know, I mean you just don't hear about anything I mean if you won't hear about what goes on in, in countries around the world I mean you have to go online but um yeah um um the local news where I live I mean I turn on the local news and you you won't hear about anything from other you won't hear about news coming out of other countries i mean just basically like local news like what what's going on like you know you know stuff like you know uh, a bunch of kids um crying because their dog got shot and killed um a, a guy hijacking a truck and driving off with someone's um dog in it and they're talking about um the dog was re was reunited with the owner after the police um stopped the vehicle. Well, actually um they shot they well they talk about this they disabled the vehicle. Actually, they just pulled out their guns to shoot out the tires. Yeah um yeah <laughs> so that's what happened. I mean. Yeah, and, uh, and and also also a story about people um driving under like bridges with big huge um trucks, 
semis. Um, they they hit a railroad. They they hit a railroad bridge and got stuck underneath. And you know, then they then they put up like um, a monster with teeth on the um, on the bridge. I mean, it's just just silly. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, the. That's why I just don't. That's why I just don't um, watch the news because of stuff like that, like silly stuff, you know, lifestyle stories, bunch of silly stuff, and also um, the news is very biased. It has a like it has a very conservative bias, you know, and it, it does like you know. You know, what what I want is a news where I want, want, want news reporters during the news where they just you know hold elected officials and politicians accountable, no bias, and just gives and just give you the facts. You know, I, I really like that, but um, I'm not gonna get that. I mean, I'm gonna get that online, like you know, go to independent media news outlets like um. Secular Talk with Kyle Kalinske, um, TYT, The Young Turks, uh, who else, uh, The Jimmy Dore Show, um, The Rational National with David Doyle, um, he, co he comes out of Canada, um, The Humanist Report, you know, and... The David Pakman show. I mean, well, I don't watch the David Pakman show, and I watch very little of, of TYT, and I watch a I watch a lot of um, Kyle Kalinske on Secular Talk, and um, and the Rational Na and also the Rational National with um David Doyle. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, and also um, you know. I also want to talk about healthcare in America. You know, I talked about this in the video. Um, I think I uploaded like I, I think I uploaded two um actually two videos on my channel, but by accident it was like I think it's, it was some kind of glitch going on. But anyway, about the healthcare in America, well, it's not public is not free is not universal basically the, the United States doesn't have a universal health care plan and um if you look at countries like um Canada um they had I think they have a they have a universal health care plan they have that they have a universal health care plan um the United Kingdom has a the UK has a universal health care plan, which is called the NHS National Health Service. And France has a universal health care system as well. I mean, I uh, forgot the name uh, of their health care system. I think it's in French. I got to go look that up. And you have Australia. They have a universal health care system. But their health care system is just simply called Medicare. And um, yeah, speaking of Australia, I remember I remember um, Donald Trump telling the the Prime Minister of Australia, um, what's his name? Um, I forgot what his name is. Um, Malcolm Turnbull. He told this man that his country has better health care than the than the health care here in America. And I look at that, I'm like. Yeah, because well, their health care is because they have a they have a single payer plan. They have a universal health care plan. Um, yeah, that's why they got that's why they got great. That's why they that's why their health care is better than the health care here in the here in the U.S. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people in people in countries with with, with a universal health care plan i mean they don't they don't have to worry about going bankrupt they don't, they don't have to worry about dying and they don't worry about dying because um they can't aff they can worry about dying and, and, and afford not affording it and dying they don't have to worry about co-pays and deductibles and 
and none of this mess. They don't have to worry about any of any of this. And yeah, they they got problems. Their healthcare has problems, problems, you know. But all they need to do is just just make improvements. Oh, you know, overall, overall, their their healthcare systems are 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 better than the healthcare here in the United States. And that's that's a fact. That's true. Um, and also, uh, I remember someone from somewhere, so someone from somewhere here. In, some, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I remember, I remember someone here in a. Well, not here. Well, yeah, here. Well, actually, I'm gonna tell you where I live. I mean, I live in Texas. I remember someone somewhere in Texas um, told me that universal health care was straight out of Hitler's playbook. Well, how can it be straight out of Hitler's playbook? I mean, Hitler didn't care about people's health and well-being in, in um, Nazi Germany. All he cared about was killing Jewish people and his own people. Yeah, killing them and slaughtering them. I mean, he didn't care about giving them health care and worrying about their well-being and, and slash health. So, I mean, so what this guy's saying just didn't make any sense. And he was so calm about it. Like, he didn't shout. He was just so calm and nonchalant about it. <laughs> I mean, overall, um, basically, overall, he, he doesn't know what he's talking about and... I don't I don't agree with them. I just feel sorry for people like him who who live in this country who are just too just completely ignorant of a single payer universal health care system. I I just feel sorry for people like that. I I really do. I mean it's I mean it's just it's just sad, really. I mean you, you can't educate these people. You can't tell them the truth because they'll just shoot down what you say and just and just be and just drown in their own ignorance. So they can't be helped. And all you have to do is, you know, just don't all, just don't talk to them about about this. I mean, just talk to people who 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 are not ignorant who do understand that universal. Healthcare or healthcare in general is a human right and not a privilege. Okay, um, let's see. Oh yeah, I want to talk about trains. You know, um, I heard that um, trains in America are slow and expensive. Well, you have um, freight trains and you have passenger trains, which is which is Amtrak. Um. Well, here in America, riding on a, a passenger train is not as popular as it is in in, in Europe. Um, people in America don't care about trains. All they care about is cars. You know. You know, and, and I, and I feel that you know, riding on a train is a good source is is a good way to see a lot of America. And also, if you have a car, you can you can drive on the back roads and see more of America as well. I mean, driving on the freeway or the interstate or motorway, as people call them in Britain, you know, driving on a driving on a, a highway whizzing whizzing past everything at seventy miles per hour. I mean, you won't be able to see America because well, on on a big super highway because well, it's boring. But driving on back roads and riding on a train is a good way to see a lot of America. And, well, I haven't ridden on a train since I was a kid. I mean, I mean, I, I rode on a train when I'm, me, my dad, mom, sister, and brother, I mean, all lived in California. And I think I re I think I rode on a train with my classmates at a school that I that I went to. Um, I was in elementary school. 
uh yeah yeah um heard yeah i heard that trains in america are slow and you know <laughs> i i can't well i can't say like how trains are in countries like um the united kingdom or france but i heard in the uk that they have these trains called ghost trains and they go nowhere and also these train some also these tr some of the trains are very filthy and dirty I, I i heard i heard about so i mean i'm just hearing this from someone from the uk saying this so um i mean i'm just here i'm just hearing this so um don't so so if you're from the uk don't 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 rip me apart about this okay i mean i just i'm just taking what i heard and um if you want to leave a comment and set me straight on it I'm fine with that. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, well, yeah, trains are expensive and also they're subsidized by the government. And they are. I mean, I mean, I don't know how trains um work in um in the United Kingdom or France, but I'm not going to comment on that. And oh yeah, yeah, go back, yeah, I'm going back to the to the news coverage. I mean, I remember this um did this big shooting that happened um on Parliament Hill in Ottawa in Canada and the CBC the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation um did a great job um um doing the news report on this I mean they were very calm um very relaxed they weren't they weren't like very fast paced and hectic and and disastrous like 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 the news media here in America is, I mean, it's very sober, sober, very educational, and very relaxing. And you know, I wish um the news media outlets in America was like that. I wish they were like that. I wish they um report the news in this way. I mean, hold elected officials accountable. You know, hold election. Elect, hold elected officials um, accountable, excuse me, and stick with the facts and have no political bias. I mean, don't have a bias with with the Democratic Party and don't have a bias and do not and don't have a bias with the Republican Party. I mean, zero bias, facts, holding elected officials accountable regardless of what party they're from. Yeah, I mean, that's what the that's what the media news outlet in America needs to be like. So yeah. Um. <laughs> well, actually, I'm I'm doing this video um in the um in the backyard of my house. I mean, it's it's nighttime here. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know if you can hear um the crickets chirping. If you can hear it, I mean, yeah, but I hear it. Um, nothing's bad isn't going to happen to me. I'm, I'm, I'm safe. I mean, nothing's, nothing's going to get me, so I'm okay. So I chose a good place to make this video. Uh, make this video. Um, and also, I mean, also I remember um, when I went on a cruise. To Northern Europe. I mean, I watched. Um, I think I watched the BBC, and and that media news outlet it, it, it does a fantastic job of, of reporting the news. Um, I heard people in the UK say saying bad things about it, but I, I don't remember what they said. But I'm looking at it, and um, they do a very good job reporting the news. Like do global world news i mean no silliness and cartoonish um three ring circus and panic attacks psychotic toxic toxicness nut caseness like it is like like it is in the media news outlet in, in america yeah so yeah um just want to 
get all this off of my chest. Um, I see that I, I uploaded two videos and I'm not getting any views on them. Uh, maybe the fact that I maybe it's the fact that I don't have Facebook or Twitter. I mean, you can't follow me on Facebook and you can't follow me on Twitter because I don't have a I don't have a Twitter account. I don't have a Facebook account. <laughs> So all I have is a YouTube account. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got one subscriber. And I got some I got a bunch of videos that are not going anywhere and this this YouTube channel isn't going anywhere either. Yeah. And also uh <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> also um I started a YouTube channel um, before I started this channel um, um, back in I think back in the back between winter and spring of 2017 I think around about February or March uh, the name of the channel was Ardvart Ragnick um, yeah and I just I just created that channel just to leave comments on on people's um videos on on their YouTube channels and um and I was getting a lot of crazy um 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 notifications from people I, mean, I remember I commented on, on this on, on these wrestlers in the WWE and this fan just went nuts because well I I, I told him that well. If they want to get into porn, like they they can go and do it if they want. I mean, they're they're adults, and a fan. I, I think of some, yeah. The 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 wrestling fans are crazy. They're nuts. These WWE wrestling fans and these they're just they're just crazy. One of them left me a comment. Told told me how old one of these wrestlers were. I think it was this wrestler named The Undertaker. I guess well, a lot of you know who he is. I watch wrestling. I don't watch it anymore because, well, it's it's boring. It's childish. No storylines. The the wrestlers have no character or nothing. And yeah, I don't watch it anymore. Stop stop watching it back in 2015. Um, I just watch it like you know, like every once in a while. Well, well not not a lot. Well, back to this crazy fan, and uh, they just bash me saying that um. Undertaker is some something years old, and I start getting all these crazy notifications from these rest from these wrestling fans, and I just I just decided to shut that channel down. Yeah, there's there's a lot of, there's a lot of nut cases here on YouTube, and and speaking of YouTube, like they just got this they just got this policy where they just like. Just shutting people's channels down, just just flagging people, and take and removing their videos and doing a lot of stupid stuff because they deemed it threatening and bad, and I got nailed by them as well. Um, on this video, on this on this on this on this video, yeah, on this video uh, that that I made about Man Beast Morris, and it just you know. They just deemed it as threatening and hurting people's feelings, and you know, and man, Beast Morris wasn't gonna find this video anyway. He probably doesn't care anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, he just he just some he just some gun he just he just some he just some black dude from the ghetto with a gun who lives in Detroit, Michigan, one of the most violent cities on the planet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I probably, yeah, I probably, yeah, you know, I probably won't, I probably won't last there. So yeah, I'm not gonna go there either. I'm not, I'm not gonna move there. But um, yeah, um, and I heard YouTube um shut down um. They got rid of him. Alex jo Alex Jones's um you um YouTube channel. I mean. Oh, I gotta say that um, YouTube needs needs to get their act together. They really do. I mean, because a lot of stuff they're doing is just it's just unfair, crazy. It doesn't make any sense, and 
and they merged with Google and it, all they were all they were about just making money. Um, yeah. Anyone and want to just shut people down because they because they did have because 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 they're 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 deemed like you know like no like polit politically incorrect and all this and I'm I'm not gonna be like this woman who just who had like two YouTube channels and she made some disturbing videos and she she just lost it when they shut one of her channels down she went to the YouTube head headquarters in um, San Bruno California and just shot some people there so yeah. And about that, you know, all these shootings is about people with mental illness and, you know, and American society is very toxic, messed up, screwed up in the head. And, and you know, it, it can bring out the worst in you. I mean, it brought out the worst in me. I mean, now that I'm healthy, fit and eating right, um, you know... <clears throat> You know, I, I feel fine. I'm, I'm sane. I'm not doing anything crazy or anything. Yeah. So yeah, I just so yeah, so yeah. This is basically you know, this is basically just a video about me like talking about things in in the dark. So yeah. Um. Well. Well, I gotta go. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe out there. Um, and have a nice evening, morning, day, or how, wherever it is, what time it is in, the, in, in other parts of the world that you're living in. Alright, thank you for this video and, uh, and I'll see you later.